Hello guys, Tsilala, our Wing Chun guy, is on the right. He is our blue side. A lot of you, ooh, look at that, knocking the opponent down already. A lot of you get mad at me, you're like, I get confused who's who, you need to tell more who's who. So again, Tsilala, our Wing Chun guy, is on the right, alright? Look at him, throwing little punches, blocking. This is, by the way, guys, you can do knees, you can do elbows, looks like there's no headbutts. So, man, Chilala is beating the pulp out of him. So, um, I think his opponent needs to adapt his strategy. Oh, it's already a standing count, people. All right, um, if you notice, people, there are body pads, there are shin pads. Very telegraph punch, man. I don't know what that was. Um, we kick by opponent. Opponent is in red. For those of you who always get confused, who's who? Ooh, look at Silala. Silala always gauging this. He's been practicing his scooping the kick. Great direct shots with his punches. Look at that. He's practiced to scoop a lot. So now... His opponent, I don't know anything about his opponent, but his opponent looks more Thai trained, maybe a left way or Thai guy. And, oh, great kick, man. Keep doing that, Silala. Keep doing that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Um, see, I got to watch some of those punches, though. So, I believe, people, that was the end of the round. So, these are some replays. Great knee by Tsilala. Um, Tsilala does drop his hands a little bit sometimes after exchanges. Got to be careful. And then look at that. I love that kick to the thigh area. So, more replays. Again? More replays? Okay, well, that's cool. We can watch the replay again. And then the thigh kick right here. Boom. So now, we have... Look at that. Look at the coach saying, ooh, good ring girl. That's the kind of ring girl I like. Not showing too much skin. Just being cute, right? The coach of the opponent of Tsilala is like, look, you got to defend yourself. Look at that. He's like, uh, use your, use that left, left, you know, keep the distance. Also, learn to check his kicks, right? Maybe that's what his coach is saying. I'm totally just randomly adding some. All right, anyways. Here they go. Touch gloves, show respect. So, let's see if Chila... Look at Chila switching between... Oh, okay. His his opponent's been, I think, listening to his corner. Chila, I gotta be careful. There you go. There you go. Every time the guy... Look at Chilala's fast wing chung punches. Good job, Chilala. Look at that. His opponent, man. Dude, oh, circle out, circle out. At, at one point, he reverted back to, like, slapping his opponent. Like, you can tell... That's what happens. Like if you're not used to getting hit, you revert back. Look at look at down there in the left corner. Uh, the opponent's corner keeps saying, "Look, uh, keep your stance, right? Keep, keep the way you you hold your hands." Man, good on Chilala for. I am so happy for Chilala, man. You are doing way more. <laughs> good job, good knockdown. You are doing way more for Chinese martial arts than any of those dumbasses in the mainland. I'm not saying everyone in the mainland's a dumbass, okay? Don't misquote me and go like, Oh my god, Jerry, Jerry, talk about the mainland China. So anyways, um, Chilala is putting his opponent in the corner. Look at the opponent. Does not know how to get out of the corner. So here's the question. We see that there are knees involved. Can you clinch, right? Because if his opponent is more tie-based, can you clinch? So that is something that we have to look at. So little standing count is opponent's okay. Silala still has never been hit enough to have a standing count. So, oh, did you see that? That was a Wing Chun check right there. He's he's checking the kicks in a different way than most Thai boxers do. So, um, okay, it's the end of the round, guys. I am going to do some research on the opponent. So let us see. So I just went and did some research. I actually asked Silala, and basically what I learned is this guy, so this is Silala right here in blue. 
The guy that Silala is facing is a Thai boxer from Taiwan. So not a Thailand and Thai boxer, but he's fighting a legit Muay Thai fighter from Taiwan. So look at that. Here, the Thai boxer's corner is telling him, okay, these are some things you got to do, etc. And then, mm, let's see. Um... I was just reading a text by Tilala. I'm like talking to Tilala as I'm watching this just so I don't say anything wrong about his opponent because at first I thought this was the left way guy he was fighting, but it's not. It's a Thai boxer. I guess Tilala's going to prepare for the left way guy by fighting a Thai guy. Makes sense. So now look at Tilala doing, preparing for his chain punching. He's like, I'm confident now. Boom. A little bit telegraphed those punches, but they're working, right? If I, You know, they're working in this fight, so... This Thai boxer's got nothing, man. And I'm wondering, I'm going to ask Chilala right now um, whether clinching was allowed in this fight. Because I feel like um, if clinching weren't allowed, it would make sense why um, this is. So let me ask Chilala right now. So let's see what Silala says. Um, look at the, look at the cupping on his back again. It's so funny. I'm talking to Silala while I'm doing the recording. So I don't know if he knows what clinch is. He doesn't speak English, so I hope he knows what clinching is. Um, and man, it's tiring. Man, props to him. Um. Body pads help. So, if you got body pads, let's see what Tila says. Uh, you're like oh, he doesn't know what clinch is. Oh, no. Um, 就是你可以两手抓着他脑背后，就是泰拳，很多时候用的，我也不知道中文怎么说，就是你两手可以抓他脑背后，然后控制他的头部。Well, dude. That was it, man. I guess I guess his opponent gave up. All right. Um, that's pretty cool. Dude, this was awesome, man. Tila totally dominated. Dude, that went that went so quickly. Go Tilala, good job, man. Our man. Making Wing Chun great again, as they say. <laughs> Hey guys, so I brought Rob over. What's up? And um, this is Chilala's second match. Yes, he fought twice, guys. This is the second day. Nice. So he won that first Thai boxing match. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to practice his Wing Chun against the second guy. All right. That's our Chilala in the blue, guys. Right. And he's got the cupping on the yep, back. Yeah, the cupping on the back. And just so you guys know, background information, there is clinching allowed in this. That's the question I posed. I actually asked him. So Chilala called me during this um, conversation, so I um, actually will show you some of the interview later, but that's his opponent, a Thai boxer. So everything's allowed except, of course, headbutts, and they also have pads. So you can clinch, you can elbow, you can knee, and look at his corner explaining stuff. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get the headgear right here. Exactly, <laughs> get the headgear right. Yeah. Silala had a really high fever, and he was really sick, so oh, yeah. he was telling me this is... I, I equate this to his Michael Jordan moment because the the day before he beat the first guy while sick and now he's sick he's still sick but he's like I said I'm gonna show my Wing Chun I'm gonna show my Wing Chun sometimes that little bit of resistance helps yeah. you tap into yeah. something deeper exactly and so it's really interesting he's wearing Muay Thai pants even mm -hmm. though he's Wing Chun mm -hmm. so some things to really note is to just see the difference in his strikes mm -hmm. and sort of how he applies his wing chunk. Mm -hmm. And um, in case I didn't say that, Rob's here with me. Mm -hmm. I had to bring him on because it's a championship round. We got to get the champion here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. All just right. Close. So um, his opponent's name is Shu, so we just call him Shu. Mm -hmm. So look, look at Chilala. Yeah. Always um, keeping his left and right going. Mm hmm. Trying to find the bridges, they call it. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are big swings. Oh, great sidekick. Yeah, really nice. Ooh. Oh, clinched up. 
Oh, okay. Good job. That's a good anti-clinch. With the torque. Yeah, just toss them. Control the head, control the body. Yep. And so what Silla was telling me was that his opponent kept trying to clinch him, mm -hmm. and but his, his opponent, he said his opponent's clinch wasn't the right clinch. Like, that's why Silla was able to toss him like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, you can tell he's trying to go um, temple to temple, mm -hmm. but, but uh, Silla is doing a really good job of sort of keeping him off balance. Makes sense. Makes sense. And the child's also just raining strikes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was actually a pretty good body kick. Mm -hmm. um, clinched up here. Ooh, the, ooh, good body kick there. Yep. So yeah, he, he comes in with big swinging power yeah. on top. Yep. Good, good straight. Yep. Very good too. Yep. A lot of people don't throw that two first. Mm -hmm. They usually use it as a follow up, but um. That was wow. <laughs> he bounced off. Wow. That was like WWE. That was crazy. You could tell he was even surprised. Yeah. He was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, oh spinning, spinning back. Nice. Yeah. That sidekick is doing great stuff. Yeah. Should keep doing that. Yep. We rarely see that kind of sidekick in even UFC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. But man, is it effective? That yep. heel, that heel can break ribs. So definitely. Easily. Oof, that's straight. He's got a good straight. It yeah. finds its it finds its target every time. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't. They don't use it as a starting punch because mm -hmm. um, oftentimes it's easier to see coming. Yeah, but yeah. he throws it pretty fast. Yeah, so that's the end of the first round. Mm -hmm. I think one thing to mention, Till I was telling me, well, part of the Wing Chun influence is that um, a lot of times when people try to circle out of his arm, mm -hmm. he will have something here. So that's something to know. He will have his his other arm kind of like in the tricep area sometimes when he's striking uh, it's like a very kung fu esque thing mm -hmm. so i'm not noticing it because it's very fast the action but it's something to pay attention to to see if he's doing that you know um that's something that i saw recently as well but it's, it wasn't underneath it was on top mm -hmm. oh like that yeah i think exactly, yeah ferguson i think does something like that right yeah and that's mostly just to prevent the counter strike coming over the top of the shoulder yeah. and hitting you makes sense yeah. makes sense so Second round, and mm -hmm. obviously Chilla took the first round. Mm -hmm. So let's see if he's going to try some new stuff with his Wing Chun. Yeah, man, those uh, straight lefts from him, mm -hmm. pretty impressive. And I've complimented him on this before, but he's really good at angling. He yeah. never kind of like, a lot of times your stereotypical Wing Chun person's always going straight like a singy guy, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. he's always angling and hitting, mm -hmm. even if he's throwing straight punches, which mm -hmm. I like. Yeah, he... He is going a little bit to his right, mm -hmm. circling a little bit to his right. Yeah. It would be great to see him do a little bit more of that, mm -hmm. uh, just right after a strike, just angling off a little yeah. bit more. But um, but I think here he's he's not really too threatened by the guy's power. Exactly. So he's he's sort of just dominating. And doing that all the time. <laughs> wow, man. If that was the case, if those were made known to be legal, uh -huh. then as soon as somebody grabs your head, you would just posture up as quickly as possible to get them off the ground essentially ah makes sense yeah red you can tell red is a little trigger trigger shy here yep. now because he's he's been um like that yeah he's yeah. been a little he, demoralized he, he kind of doesn't know what to do yeah he like you know a lot of times people say tie boxing is better sort of standing grappling you're clinching mm -hmm. but it looks like Silas, at least in this fight able to nullify a lot of the clinch techniques that the tie boxer is mm -hmm. trying to put on him mm -hmm. which is freaking yeah. awesome yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm plugging in the computer because they don't want uh, the battery going out. So I think that's the oh, end of the second round. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I was like, is this just a shin pad check break? Could be. So one thing to think about is what would happen, like what would be different if they didn't have the pads? Like would, would Silala have more trouble with his Wing Chun potentially? Mm. Yeah, few things suck more than shin to shin. Yeah, ouch. Oh, yeah. look at the chain punches. Oh, yeah. Chilala. Yeah. <laughs> and then the opponent tries to clinch and Chilala throws him. Yeah, and he's he's totally not feeling it. Yep. Just um, trying some. Oh, he's got he's got good distance distance management for the most part. Mm -hmm. um, he does throw basically from his sternum. He yeah. Doesn't, he doesn't keep his hands up too high. Yeah. But I think it's mostly because he's constantly keeping track of where his opponent's hands are. Yeah. His opponent is out. Yeah. He is not doing well. 
he probably this fight should probably be called. I agree. There was no standing count or anything. Like in the last fight, Silala uh, had put oh. his opponent. Yeah. Yeah, that's that really breaks your will. Yeah. Right Ooh. Oh. Uh, uh, he just stood there. He's like, oh, ref, yeah. break this up. Well, because he knows that if he keeps his hips high, mm -hmm. like underneath his opponent, that it's going to be really hard for his opponent to knee him. True. He also knows that his opponent is really dazed. Really dazed and tired. Yeah, it makes sense. Man. It's so crazy what adrenaline can do to you. Like, the fact that he's sick, mm -hmm. but he's just like, now he's in fighter mode. He doesn't care. Yeah, that's pretty wild. That's crazy. For my 8th grade talent show, I, I did Kung Fu on stage, and I was so sick, too. Mm -hmm. But once the time came, I forgot about my sickness. Mm -hmm. But I, I totally feel it. I was surprised, too. I, I thought I was going to mess up on stage and, like, crap my pants or something. But <laughs> Shilala said he was having diarrhea, too. So I guess the, the one good thing about that is that your body's very clear. You're very light. <laughs> uh -huh. One thing that Silala told me after I talked to him about this fight is he felt like his opponent was floating. So it was really easy just to toss him. Interesting. So. Because yeah. well, he's, uh, maybe he, uh, yeah. Wow. Like that. I saw a great Wing Chun move. He punched and kicked at the same time. It's like a very Kung Fu-esque move he did mm -hmm. earlier. I'm trying to think how to best counter that, that pivot. Mm -hmm. I mean, as soon as somebody grabs... Grabs your head in that Muay Thai plum. Mm -hmm. the first thing you want to do is get your hips underneath theirs. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And I see some same side kicking, same side striking. So he's like right kick, mm -hmm. right punch at the same time, which is, you yeah. know, lots of Kung Fu techniques have that. Yeah, see, he throws low. He's, he's throwing from his, basically his sternum yeah. his hips. Yeah, notice that. Uh, the guy in the red has, he's just oh. he's just trying to survive. Yeah. But he's got no jab. No, I mean, like, not at all. If he wanted to, he could, you know, jab as much as possible and sort of try and keep the distance. Yeah. But, but I think in a way, a jab is not really in his arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, you can see here, he's like, he could just be throwing it out there just yeah. to keep, yeah, exactly. keep him at bay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He's, it's not... It's not in his arsenal, apparently. And he's tired, but like a lot of Thai boxers, they they teep a lot. Yeah. It's like their jab. Like yeah. what Chilala's doing, kind of just teep, keep yeah. distance. He's definitely stunned. Yeah. Definitely Ugh. Oh, like man. Oh, yeah. yeah. That should be stopped. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. That should be stopped. I hope it, they're just giving him a standing count. This uh, is why standing counts are so bad. Yeah. Like you can tell he's obviously not fighting his full potential anymore. Right, right. He, he knows he's done. Yeah. Jeez, man, that ref should really just stop. Yeah, him. like at this point, it's just brain damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is his corner thrown in the towel, or is it just so. the end of the round? Yeah, I think it's okay. That's a good corner right there, calling it off. Yeah, or well, I think I'm just adjusting his shoulder. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mm. He went. He telegraphed that from a mile away. Yep. I'm coming with that big right. And you notice how Daisy is because the tie boxer's hands are so low. Mm -hmm. Like, and he's not doing it on purpose, Oof. like Silala. Yeah. Oof. I think I think they're gonna call it, or maybe that was the end of the round. Are they gonna fight another round? Nope, they're gonna call it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> good, good, good. Jeez. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, it was, and. A lot of people are like, oh, but I don't see any Wing Chun. I think we definitely saw a lot of Wing Chun in this. Well, definitely, but where he's keeping his hands. Yeah, yeah. And then I think a lot of the, he's, he's throwing two strikes at the same time, like a punch and a kick. Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of his combos are more Kung Fu-esque. Mm -hmm. So I definitely see that. Mm -hmm. And that side heel kick was great. Yeah. It's almost like you can throw a traditional Muay Thai body shot. Mm-hmm. And then if it misses, you can follow up really quickly with that side kick. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I think another great lesson we learned is there needs to be some rule changes to this whole like standing count thing because it's just unnecessary. Yeah, I mean, a ref can, in, can certainly tell when a fighter is not um, in competition. Yeah, exactly. Ah, there he That's is. That's got to be very discouraging. Yeah. Wow. So look at that thank in the corners. Yeah. But um go Chilala. It was thank you so much for providing this footage for Fight Commentary. Yeah. And we really enjoyed you 
not just saying you do Wing Chun and then reverting to kickboxing, you're obviously putting Wing Chun moves into. Definitely incorporating so it. That's yeah. what I really like. Yeah. Now, the the question is, like, how much of it is Wing Chun? Is he doing 80% Wing Chun, 60, 40? I guess that would be a, a talk for another time. But I think I see at least 60% Wing Chun in here. Mm -hmm. so. What's interesting is is mixing it together. How, mm -hmm. do, you, how do you blend the, yeah. the techniques? Because you can be proficient at individual techniques, but, but there's... Um, there's some real, real opportunities in the transitions. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Wing Chun, one of the benefits, if you do it right, I think, is in the transitions. Mm -hmm. If you see, because, you know, a lot of people, they have a stereotype of Wing Chun. Some people think it's more singy like like mm -hmm. it's more linear. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's like, basically, you could say three or four forms of Wing Chun. Mm -hmm. Some of them are more circular. Mm -hmm. Some of them are more kind of grappling, like... Mm -hmm clinching and others are more linear mm -hmm. so if you know when to transition between the circling mm -hmm. and the linear and then the grappling mm -hmm. then i think there's a lot of great tools to add in your arsenal yeah well, it was great he doesn't seem one dimensional at all because yeah. he does have he has a phenomenal straight uh left mm -hmm. and then he does have he has a power hook which is great too yeah. so it's not like he's just throwing straights or he's just throwing hooks yeah he's, he's definitely mixing it up which is great exactly so guys this was jerry and rob and see lala called when i was initially recording the voiceover to the second one so i will show you guys some of the call right now um the audio might be a little unclear and i have to translate it so i don't know how much i'm going to show but i'll show some of it so guys um rob also has a coffee that you guys should check out <laughs> so you guys should check out jaybird coffee i'll put the link below Delicious. It's really good. I'm on it. That's why I'm like super, super, you know, Jerry right now. Rob just drank it. That's why he's not yet at my level of energy. <laughs> but okay, check out Jaber Coffee. Now my conversation with Silala. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um,我你只细看哦，嗯哼，那个家伙他其实不是不会，他一直想要做，可是他的手相扑不到底。哦，他只是用勾的，手相扑他是靠你的手按住你后脑，对。那前面就像羊村一样，你要收走下来。嗯哼，但是他就是那种外行的，就是用勾的。